for those of us who are new to Craigslist, uh, this is probably not going to be applicable to experienced Craigslist uh, users. Anyway, buying, selling stuff on Craigslist, but for like new beginner that are interested in, in using Craigslist, Craigslist is a wonderful uh, free tools, uh, posting service that you can can find service providers and you know a ton of stuff, you know events. Uh, and also you can post your own your own apps there you know with pictures and all of that so so uh, i i love using it i did have some bad experience you know in which i'm gonna you know discuss later but uh first thing um i haven't bought many merchandises off craigslist i did bought like a few years back a used ipod for my for my daughter and okay when you uh, buying or selling used products or any products to other people, make sure, make sure to be safe. Safety is the number one concern on Craigslist. Don't send them money, you know, because if they ask you to send them money, they are probably scammers. So, okay. So you want to meet them at a safe public place, okay? The key is public places like Starbucks, you know, uh, Walmart, things like that, Target, you know, uh, Home Depot or whatever, something, uh, some place safe that have a lot of people, you know, because, you know, you want to avoid, you know, don't go to their house, you know, or even your your house come to your house, don't don't let them come to your house, go meet somewhere else, okay, that's, I think that's a must, you got to do that, okay, so, um, but anyway, you know, for for more expensive merchandises, I normally go go to stores, you know, to buy, or, or I go to, just go online to Amazon, you know, you know, Amazon have great deals there, so, uh, and they, they have, you know, consumer protection there, and, you know, if you have any problems, so, so, uh, so I haven't bought much off Craigslist in terms of, you know, products and things like that, you know, not, not to say that it's, it's not good, I think you, you can find a lot of, a lot of good deals there, but also check online, you know, uh, comp comparison again, you know, Sometimes they might cost more on Craigslist, you know. So and and also you want to you know get pictures of of the item, description, the condition of it, things like that. And normally I just text the person. They have phone number. Normally I just text them back and forth, make sure it's legit, you know. And then you know if you can bargain. And and the good thing about text, you can just bargain, you know. I mean you can call them also, uh, uh, you know. So, so you can try to, you know, ask them what, what they, the lowest they, they will take and, you know, things like that. And also another important thing is, you know, you want, you don't want people that live too far from you. So location, it should, the proximity should be, should be close to you maybe, you know, depend on what it is, you know, the, the product, the price, how much saving you're going to have. But, you know, like no more than 50 miles because otherwise they're going to charge you for like, you know, for traveling, okay, that's $10, whatever. So I, I tend to stay local, you know, within... 20 miles, you know, things like that. Okay. Now, the second one in terms of service providers like uh, appliance repair, you know, some minor repair, you know, electrician, things like that. Uh, there are a few tips that I can give, you know. Um, of course, you want to look at, you know, service providers that are local to you. Now, a lot of times these are just, you know, guys that are doing moonlighting off their full time job. They might be working for, uh, you know, company, you know, like electrician, and then they do this on the side, so you can get a, get a, a good, you know, good saving out of it, you know. Uh, so so one time I was using uh, uh, appliance repair, my uh, my washer broke, it was an old washer, and I did some research, you know, within, just within my, I live in Southern California, you know, Inland Empire, Riverside area, so I just searched in my local area, and and, you know, I found this guy, you know, he, he didn't charge, I mean, he said he won't charge more than $60, whatever it is. And, and we we talk and, you know, text. And then uh, comparing to other providers, he looks good. So I, um, you know, I make sure, you know, he's nice, uh, presentable, I mean, uh, polite and pleasure to deal with, you know. At least they get back to you uh, on time and then, you know, don't, don't commit it to the, Hiring them right away, you know, you want to do some some talking a little bit. I use text again or, or email, you know, text will be faster, 
you know, I, def I prefer text, you know, because now people have smartphone, they text phone, they can, they can text. And, and, you know, ask them for, for uh, you know, if you have any reference, things like that, and, and you know, the, the warranty, things like that, if they, they have, you know, a lot of times they're they, they repair guy, they don't, maybe they give you 30 days. The good chance is that, you know, they might not come back. So you want to make sure that w w when they come, they, you have to be closely monitor what they're doing, you know. And, and when the job is done, uh, well, again, go back to this guy. He, he did such a good job, you know. He moved from Arizona and, and you know, very religious guy. He always talked about you know, God or whatever, and that's cool. Um, and he actually, um, now my washer is old for some people. I don't mind using used part because this guy can carry a lot of, a lot of parts, you know, because he's been doing that a lot. Actually, he he put a new mortar, a mortar for my for my washer and some other parts. You know, actually, it need quite a bit of fixes, right? So with a new mortar, that will cost me over hundred dollars. So I told him, you know, if if it costs too much, I might as well buy a new one, things like that. So he, he worked with me on that. Again, this is used parts, you know, but mortar will mortar will last for a long time, you know. So he gave me a new mortar, and and, uh, and then the the other parts, you know, he, he did it very fast. I'm very happy, and I ended up paying only sixty dollars, you know, and that that's a great deal. I mean, if you hire a, for a major company, of course, you know, it's up to your preference, you know. I'm trying to be frugal for use, you know, old stuff. I, I don't need, you know, new parts or whatever, you know. Uh, then, then you know, I mean, if you, you hire from a big company to have big overhead, they're going to charge you a lot more just to come out, you know, like, like $30 just to come out regardless, you know. not. And then they're going to try to sell you up on, on the parts, you know, things like that. So I had experience with those also. It cost cost a lot of money. I mean, you depend on your comfort level. Okay, so I want to make sure you, you check references, talk, take, talk to them, text with them for a few times, you know, get get the feel of it and make sure they, you know, you don't want to get the cheapest but reasonable, you know. A lot of times th these guys, they move lining so they can, you know, then give you a lot of discounts. So, okay, so, and, and, and make sure, you know, stay safe, okay. So anyway, uh, hope, hope that helps. Thank you.